Hi traders, welcome to this demo of how to install a Java FX hybrid product, which is an FX Algo trader offering into an MT4 account. So let's say for example you like the look of the stochastic crossover tool and you want to try that as a free trial, no obligations. Go to the free trial section on the website and enter your name and an email address. Make sure it's a valid one because otherwise you won't receive the email. And also check your junk and spam folder because a lot of people a lot of people's spam filters just put, put the emails in there automatically and you never receive the demo data. So make sure you check that. Okay, so once you've set that up, go into your email account and check your send and receive button. And you can see here this is our demo and we've got an installation guide, a video installation guide and a frequently asked questions area so make sure you have a look at those because most of the time the answers are in there and there's an installer link so if we click the installer link and you can see here it's being downloaded the package is downloaded and we're getting a little warning saying it's a zip file so we just click this little drop down here and click keep this is in Google Chrome by the way so now that package is being verified and we double click it you can now see the FXA stochastic crossover setup is shown here. The installation press is exactly the same for every product so don't worry about the fact we're doing stochastics you can it's exactly the same procedure for all of the tools so double click on the installer you get a security warning here saying are you sure you want to run this file click run and this is the welcome screen and a license agreement so read through that make sure you're happy accept that click next and this bit is the only place where you can make a mistake so pay attention all you've got to do is enter the path for your MetaTrader 4 data folder that's really easy to do just go into MetaTrader click file click open data folder and then you'll see this Windows Explorer box here just go into the top area here and right click it and then select copy address and then left click that and that copies the MT4 data folder for us and just simply go into here right click paste or control V and that's the MT4 data folder and where we're going to point the installer to click next click install installation is done uh, so let's close this browser window down let's go back into MetaTrader and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the navigator so view navigator or control and N and I'm going to just minimize this a little bit I'm going to load a chart just, uh, just have a uh, euro dollar chart to start with I'm just going to use something which is a bit more visible so let's put it black on white and use candlesticks okay and now I'm going to go to my MT4 folders in the navigator and open up the indicators folder look for any file prefixed with FXA and in this case I'm going to go for the stochastics crossover because that's what I've just downloaded drag, drag that onto your chart go to the common tab make sure allow DLL imports is checked click OK you'll get this Node.jfx interface running that's no problem go down to scripts double click launch JFX interface go to the trial user login enter your email address click trial login and the first time you log in it'll say no no accounts have been set up the system will use installation folder blah 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 which is basically the MT4 data folder you pointed the installer to if you're happy with that click OK and you can see here it's put our MT4 data folder into this uh, this text field here this is so that the interface can synchronize with MT4 and obviously any changes you make in the interface are reflected so now we've entered that the product catalog comes up and move that where you want to want it to be go to alert enable indicators and select stochastic crossover and move this around to where you want it to be uh, resize the window if you want to there's a scroll pane in here so you can move around the scroll pane uh, if you need to 
I like to see everything so I just make it big enough to see everything and just change the chart time frame and the stochastic tool will load up. Now you've got control over everything on this chart uh, from the interface so I can change obviously the line colors and styles and all that kind of good stuff and widths. Um, I can change trigger levels so if I want to increase the trigger levels up a bit to 85 and say 15 you can see those being moved. I can show crossover arrows or hide them if I want to and obviously change all the alert parameters as well. I can I can select an alert sound that I want to use so I can go to IBM preload program. I've got some fold some sound folders in here which I'm just going to pick up quickly. I'm going to use uh, a file called alert.wav if I can find it. Yeah, alert2 I think I'll go for. So that's configured. Some of the really important things to mention now are the system can, has a, can be used so that you can have different profiles for each time frame. Um, and some people think that's uh, amazing, which it, it kind of is, because it's completely impossible to do with standard MT4 tools. Um, but also, if you're setting up the system onto multiple charts, that can have an overhead. Um, so obviously, you wouldn't want to be having to create profiles for each different time frame. So if you like the profile I've got here, you just click Copy Profile to All Time Frames, and then you can see that profile is then rippled across to all the different time frames. On the other hand, if I particularly want to have a different profile for the hourly time frame, so you can see here the chart is this selected chart has automatically been updated to Euro Dollar SB60 here. I've given it a really thick signal line, and if I really like that profile, I'm, I, I can actually save that. I'm going to call that hourly, and then save that profile. So if I now want to set the same profile up across the board on say uh, an Aussie dollar chart first of all let's just tile vertically so what I do start with is set up a template in MT4 so I'll save this particular setup as hourly so that will allow me to set this up really quickly on this Aussie dollar chart like so but what I also want to do on this Aussie, Aussie dollar chart is I want the hourly profile I set up before so I just select select profile hourly done and you can see that profile is now applied automatically so you can you can see how quickly you can actually control the profiles for each time frame and what have you so once they're set up they're set up the actual all of these profiles are stored in the MQL for files folder so they're there for good which means that if you then load a euro dollar chart which has the same chart ID it'll pick up these profiles again so you can the beautiful thing about this system is you can make ultra fast changes to the parameters in multiple charts so quickly so let me just show you how you can do that so if I tile these windows vertically you can see we've got euro dollar and Aussie dollar but if I click on the chart, it'll automatically update the selected chart profile in the interface. And I can just make changes very, very, very fast indeed to the stochastic indicator. So you can see here, I just click on the chart, automatically updates the selected chart profile in here. And I can change those, those trigger levels, turn the ray off on them. Obviously, maybe move the trigger level up a bit or whatever I want to do. But to do that in a conventional MT4 system would take ages because you'd have to go right click on a chart, go into indicator list, select the indicator, go into the input parameters, scroll down all the input parameters and what have you and work out what's what. In this case, you know, you can't beat it. You just go in there and make your change and job done. You know, how, how quick is that? It's just ridiculously fast. You can do all of these things. So really really powerful really quick the alert system uh, is also Java based so if you sh click on show alert history you can actually see you can get highly granular alert data and you can call it anytime you want just by clicking the show alert history icon you can configure this display if you want to hide certain columns 
um, you know, the period or whatever. I doubt you'd want to do that, but it's pretty much got everything you need in there. So that is a quick overview of the installation process for the for the JFX tools. It's a generic procedure, so you can use it on all of the tools, no problem whatsoever. Um, one thing to mention, when you log out of the system, make sure you just close the product catalog here by just by clicking there and that will log you off the uh, database and you won't get any problems with um, sticky tokens and all that kind of stuff not being able to log in so uh, obviously when you relaunch the interface launch JFX interface and it will come straight back up and enter your email trial login and obviously everything is exactly as it was before so just static crossover and up, up it comes and there's, these are all the configuration settings for the Euro dollar chart. Click on the Aussie dollar chart and you can see it's updated all the parameters for us automatically. So powerful stuff. It's subtle, but it's very powerful once you get the hang of it. So thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact info at fxargotrader.com.